title of my presentation today is The Impact of Learning Study as School-Based Professional Development and the Performance of Teachers in Brunei Darussalam. Um, a little bit about myself, uh, first of all, I am a part-time PhD student at UBD. This is my sixth year into this PhD because it's part-time. Sounds a bit long. <laughs> Uh, but it has been a very interesting experience for me. Yeah. Uh, I've been teaching for the last 15 to 16 years. Um, I teach economics at A levels and I fully understand today, for example, why sustainability is a very important issue. Just to give you an example, uh, the other day we were dealing with healthcare in Brunei and I'm teaching this A level class. Uh, we were looking at the problem of scarcity, those of you who have done economics. And uh, one of the things that I asked the students was, do you think healthcare in Brunei is free? And our lower six students say, sir, healthcare is free. How do you change that conception that there is nothing in life that's free? There is no such thing as free lunch in life. And these are the kinds of challenges that we face, for example, when I'm teaching economics, trying to get people to think about issues differently. And that's a real challenge. <coughs> the presentation that I want to make today is about teaching and learning. And this is very important to me. And from what I understand, it's very important to Brunei Darussalam especially in the light of the new education system called System Pendidikan Negara Abarka Dobosato, the 21st century national education system. And if you have read about the Wawasan, the strategy for MOE, one of the things that they want is to move education away uh, from transmission to critical thinking from transmission to innovation and creativity. That's a tall one. <coughs> and I hope after this presentation, uh, you'll get an idea about the kind of work that teachers do right, in the context of the current education system. The amount of research into professional development for teachers in Brunei Darussalam is very little. And this is one of the reasons why I undertook this research. I wanted to find out more about what teachers learn, how teachers learn in a professional development group. And I'm also interested in what students learn and what and how students learn. So what and how teachers learn and what and how students learn. Three things that I will cover today for this particular presentation is number one, I would like to make a case for using what we call a theorized intervention in school-based professional development. And this is called the learning study hybrid of lesson study. I'll share with you a little bit about what this learning study is all about and then we'll talk about the impact that this learning study has on the experience of teachers. <coughs> now, many education systems are very interested and very keen to change they want, for example, a better education system. They want a world-class system. I know Dr. Zul, for example, in terms of UBD, he wants a world-class university. So you've got governments who are keen to improve the system. So what they do is they introduce wave after wave of economic reforms. And they call it by all kinds of names. 
in the United States, for example, they call it NCLB, No Child Left Behind. In Singapore, for example, uh, Teach Less, Learn More. And in Brunei, we have SDN 21. But what exactly are they trying to achieve? What are these economic reforms all about? My interpretation is that these economic reforms are interested in improving teaching and learning. I think that's the key thing. And not something else. Just the teaching and the learning. However, it's very important to note here that, you know, after reading the, the literature, the research is very clear in its verdict. If you want to improve teaching and learning, the focus has got to do with what teachers do in the classroom. And this, one, this is why, for example, when we talk about action research in schools, we don't just get teachers together and talk about problems the students have. That would be highly unstructured and that would be very highly unsystematic. What we want is a theorized, a theory, a theory that can be used in a professional development study, a theory that can be used to guide, design, and evaluate the success of that professional development study. And this is why uh, I strongly feel that the learning study hybrid is a very good way of changing the way teachers look at teaching and learning. The literature says that if you want to have very effective professional development, a few things okay, that you need to have. First, make sure that it focuses on the subject matter. Secondly, give the teachers the opportunities to uh, do real work using actual curriculum materials and assessments. Thirdly, emphasize observing and an analyzing students' understanding of the subject matter. So they must have real opportunities to do this. And make sure that your district, your education system, evaluates the impact of these practices. This, by the way, comes from AERA, which simply stands for the American Educational Research Association, 2005. The McKinsey Report, 2009, for example, um, in studying the best education systems around the world, they emphasize that teachers can co-develop knowledge and teaching plans, study elements of good practice together, they can share experiences and problem solving, mentor each other, and hold each other accountable for good practice. If you look at this, how many of these things are really going on in schools? Most of the time, teaching is conducted in isolation. Stigler and Hubert, 1999, uh, introduced to the world the idea of lesson study in this book called The Teaching Gap. One of the things they mention in The Teaching Gap is this. If you want to improve teaching, the most effective place to do so is in the classroom. Start with lessons. And if you start with lessons, the problem of how to apply research findings in the classroom disappears. So they must be devised within the classroom. 